Getting accepted into medical school is one of the hardest things a young adult has to go through. Consider finishing it in your preteen years. The hardships she endured, the obstacles she surmounted, and the enormous influence she had on society following instances of racial abuse at the hands of teachers and fellow students. At the age of 13, Alina Annalee, a remarkable young girl, became the youngest African-American female student to be accepted into the University of Alabama Birmingham Hearsink School of Medicine, breaking previous records. In today's video, we'll unveil the remarkable tale of a young girl who overcomes all forms of discrimination and pursues her dream into a medical school. Stay with me through to the very end. It promises to be a thought-provoking adventure. Let's get right into details. Born in Fontana, California on November 19, 2008, Alina Annalee Wicker grew up outside of Fort Worth, Texas. She has two sisters, Daphne McWhorter, as her mother. She is an American student who is the second youngest admitted student into medical school overall and the youngest black person accepted into medical school in the United States. In addition, she is the youngest intern at NASA in history. Adopted as a baby by Daphne McWhorter, a blogger, freedom chick, activist for women's and girls' rights, and mother of two incredible children, Dr. D has changed lives with her wisdom. As the creator of the Free To Be Me, Women's Freedom Network and the Freedom Chicks Network, she has been inspiring women to transform from the inside out in order to become better mothers, wives, and community leaders. Dr. D is the creator of Sister Circles, a liberation organization that links women for business help and the Global Women's Network. Her excellent and in-demand seminars on the six figures to freedom teach women how to operate as corporate America employees or entrepreneurs, empowering them to achieve financial independence and earn six figures without hiding behind societal masks. She is a TEDx speaker, as well as the co-founder and co-host of TEDx Balk Drive Women. Her unwavering efforts to exonerate girls from various horrible acts, Dr. D established drivers programs in the United States, the National Human Sexual Trafficking Conference, the Senator's Conference on Trafficking, and the Survivor to College Scholarship, which offers survivors a $47,000 annual scholarship, are all connected to her. Dr. D has recently increased her international outreach by starting I Am Her Voice, giving more than 15,000 books to Syrian refugee children living in camps along the Syrian-Jordanian border and assiduously constructing a school for them. As of right now, her group runs more than seven safe houses around the country and is the only one that provides comprehensive assistance to underage girls in the country. In addition to receiving the Loudown Under 40 Award, she has also been honored for her unselfish work with the Women to Watch GA, Women to Watch CA, U.S. Women of Change, and Philanthropist of the Year Award. Daphne McWhorter stated that even at a very young age, she could tell Alina was unique. Because she was so intelligent, her classmates teased her. Alina was adopted from Fontana, California, and raised outside of Fort Worth, Texas. Her mother, Dr. Daphne McWhorter, homeschooled her for the most part. Both mother and daughter are eager for experiences and like traveling, as Elena put it of her mother. She always gave me opportunities over things. At three years old, Elena started reading chapter novels, and the next year, she fell in love with Legos. She was teased in elementary school, and her principal claimed that because of the hue of her skin, she wasn't able to receive all A's. Elena returned to school in the fifth grade, following an advanced program to fulfill high school requirements, but McWhorter soon decided to homeschool her. She studied Arabic and Spanish after spending time living overseas in Ammon, Jordan. Elena received a Forbes 30 Under 30 nomination in 2021. She was chosen a finalist in Time and Nickelodeon's Kid of the Year competition at the beginning of 2022. She received recognition as a global child prodigy of the world in science the same year. Her time at ASU made her concerned about current affairs, including the conflict between Israel and Hamas, and the passing of Masa Amini, a 22-year-old Iranian Kurdish woman, in Iranian police prison in 2022. One of the most significant initiatives she participated in while attending ASU was the Student Outbreak Response Team. Elena was a member of the team that looked into and addressed the COVID-19 outbreak in Arizona while working under the supervision of an epidemiologist from ASU. She claimed that the program made her more aware of her strong enthusiasm for promoting global health and standing out for those without access to healthcare. 
and the enlightening encounter wasn't the only one. She also participated in a program that gave her the opportunity to talk to immigrants whose families were attempting to enter the United States. She added, Listening to their stories just really gave me a bigger voice. I simply had to stop and tell Elena that she had a platform and that she could utilize it to speak out about these concerns. She also received the President's Volunteer Service Lifetime Achievement Award from AmeriCorps and Points of Light in recognition of accumulating more than 5,000 hours of community service. The teenager, however, is adamant that she is a typical 13-year-old girl. She claimed that she basically possesses exceptional time management abilities. Elena just completed construction on the Disney Castle, the Apollo 11 rover, the Millennium Falcon, the Taj Mahal, and a NASA rocket. She said, I can't pick a favorite, but if I could, it would be the Millennium Falcon. She acknowledged being a Star Wars fan, with Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith being her favorite film and Princess Leia being her favorite character. Elena devoted herself fully to the Millennium Falcon project, putting in 14 to 15 hours over the course of two days with minimal rest. Elena made the decision to take action after observing the racial and gender gaps in the STEM science, technology, engineering, and mathematics professions. To give girls of color an outlet in STEM, she started the Brown STEM Girl BSG website. Barrett offers special resources and opportunities for online learners, including lectures, internships, and research available only to honor students. Alexandra Aragon, Director of Academic Partnerships and Online Programs at Barrett Honors College, stated that, Barrett Online offers a strong community of support for motivated learners, whatever their unique goals and aspirations may be. Excellent faculty members and committed staff mentor each student on their unique honors journey. Honors seminar courses, online student clubs exclusive to honors, travel and international participation initiatives, and virtual events are further highlights of the Barrett online experience. Alina joined the Forge at Barrett and the Barrett Mentoring Program to make the most of her time there. Before joining Barrett, I was feeling a little lost and unsure. After joining Barrett, I found my tribe and other students like me. I found a community. I found support. It was the best decision of my college career, the speaker stated. Barrett, the Honors College played a significant role in my college experience. In addition to Barrett, Alina was involved in a number of ASU organizations, such as the American Medical Student Association, AMSA, and the Ideas Student Society. She is committed to increasing college students' access to mental health resources as an advocate for mental health. Despite being an online learner, Alina had no shortage of opportunities while attending ASU. As a member of the Student Outbreak Response Team, under the direction of Megan Jen, Alina gained practical experience in public health, while also serving her community by providing surge capacity for state, local, and tribal public health partners. In 2021, she was chosen as a Phoenix Mercury Believe in Women honoree, a distinction for individuals making a difference in the community. She was also awarded a scholarship to continue her educational pursuits. I am thankful for each of them that were always saying my name in rooms full of possibility, Elena said. The most meaningful opportunity was being able to be mentored by so many amazing professors that truly looked out for my well-being mentally, emotionally, and academically. Women make up half of all workers in STEM positions in the United States, but that statistic comes from the fact that they make up the majority of healthcare workers. They are largely underrepresented in other fields like computer jobs and engineering. Additionally, the center discovered that the percentage of black STEM workers is only 9%, while the percentage drops to 7% for Hispanic STEM professionals. Some have speculated that Alina may be losing out on her childhood because of all the things going on in her life, but the prodigy herself says that couldn't be further from the truth. I don't think I'm missing any part of my childhood. I had a childhood, and it's amazing, Elena remarked. In her spare time, Elena enjoys playing soccer, singing, cooking, constructing Legos, and visiting amusement parks with her friends. In addition to her love of STEM subjects like science, robotics, and building things, Elena also enjoys singing, cooking, and running track. She engages in typical adolescent activities like hanging out with friends, going to the movies, and going to the mall. She also adores Dr. Seuss, particularly the quote from Oh the Places You'll Go that says, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, 
you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Although she was homeschooled for the most part, she did attend traditional schools for a brief period of time. When she was seven years old, her mother pulled her out of a regular school after the principal's racial abuse. This hurt, but it also gave her the willpower to prove her parents wrong and achieve her goal of receiving all A's. Elena is a supporter of unschooling, a type of homeschooling that relies less on structured curricula and more on a child's innate curiosity to explore the world and explore topics of interest at their own pace. For instance, Elena's time spent living overseas in Ammon, Jordan, encouraged her to learn Arabic and Spanish. After I was accepted, it was the most amazing moment, said Alina. Just knowing that I've reached the goal of getting into medical school at this age was amazing for me. After completing the two undergraduate programs, she is already enrolled in a biological sciences degree at Arizona State University and an undergraduate degree at Oakwood University, she plans to begin medical school in 2024. She stated, my current goals are to finish college and get into medical school. She also mentioned that she aspires to work as a viral immunologist so that she can study viruses and help communities. Alina, who was given the Lifetime Achievement Award by the President's Volunteer Service Award, completed her high school education last year at the age of just 12. Through the Burroughs Welcome Scholars Early Assurance Program, which links the university with historically black colleges and universities throughout Alabama, to provide early acceptance to medical school for students who meet the requirements for acceptance and matriculation, Wicker has completed half of her undergraduate requirements at Arizona State University and Oakwood University in the past year. Elena shared a video of her acceptance letter to the University of Alabama at Birmingham on Instagram with the caption, I'm a junior in college. I've worked so hard to reach my goals and live my dreams. Mama, I made it. I graduated high school last year at 12 years old, and here I am one year later, I've been accepted into med school at 13. While Alina hopes to share her success with others, she acknowledges that she could not have succeeded without her mother's support and sacrifices throughout her life. In order to help women of color pursuing STEM fields, she founded the Brown STEM Girl Foundation, which aims to remove financial barriers and offer exceptional learning opportunities as students pursue higher education. Though Alina attended traditional public schools, she was primarily homeschooled by her mother, Daphne McWhorter. Alina has been featured in Ebony and Forbes interviews as the Brown STEM girl and has made waves in and out of school. She is an advocate for unschooling, putting less emphasis on test scores, regimented classrooms, and learning while traveling around the country and world. I was just thinking bigger or going and doing the things that no one else had done before, Alina Wicker said. I don't want to say I was different, she added. I was just thinking about the different possibilities of what I could do. And when it comes to education, I was like, why not move forward if I have the chance to do so? Elena credits her mother for being her support system when others didn't believe in her. I believe that from an early age, I gave her freedom of expression and a voice because I just always knew there was something about her, Daphne McCorder said of her daughter. And I do believe that kids know I believe that in the right environment and the right nurturing, I believe that kids know. Elena was gifted, McWhorter told the Washington Post. It was just how she did things and how advanced she was. She was reading chapter books. Wicker fell in love with science at a young age, telling Forbes that in addition to regularly observing the night sky, she had a passion for Legos. Her Instagram bio references both her internship at NASA Wicker showed signs of being a prodigy back in her toddler years. After traveling to Jordan with the Brown STEM Girl Foundation, Alina changed her mind about engineering and pursued a career in medicine. Her interest in viral immunology coincided with her love of volunteerism and community service. Wicker told Ebony, What I want from healthcare is to show these underrepresented communities that we can help, that we can find cures for these viruses. I started the organization because when I was about three and I had first had my passion of working for NASA, I didn't see a lot of people who looked like me," Elena said. She is also the founder of Brown STEM Girl, an organization she claimed she launched to provide an outlet for girls of color in STEM science, technology, engineering, and mathematics classes. I didn't see a lot of girls and a lot of women getting into the STEM field. It's what inspired me to stand up for them, 
to really give them those chances and to show them that they can achieve anything they set their minds to, she went on. They can follow my path and become anything they want to become without anyone telling them it's not possible. According to the Society of Women Engineers, only 13% of engineers are women, and only 8% of female college freshmen intend to major in engineering, math, statistics, or computer science. Black people make up just 9% of STEM workers in the field, and Hispanic people make up 7%, according to the Pew Research Center. Working for NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, is Alina's other mission in life. Her mother, Daphne McWhorter, said she recognized her daughter's aptitude for STEM and academics at a young age. She was just always smart, gifted, and she was always ahead, McWhorter said on GMA. Elena made history in 2021 by being the youngest intern at NASA. She completed a variety of tasks, including research for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, via remote means. According to Elena's mother, her daughter has always wanted a job with the space agency. McCarter said to GMA, she would always say, Mommy, I'm going to work for NASA. As a pre-med student, Alina aspires to become a flight surgeon and assist NASA astronauts. Then she would start saying, I'm going to be the youngest black girl to ever work for NASA. Watch. Physicians who complete a two-year residency program in aerospace medicine become flight surgeons. They get knowledge on how to recognize and handle the particular medical issues that arise with prolonged crew space travel. Less than 40% of the almost 62,000 applicants to American medical schools in 2021 were accepted. Furthermore, there are just 2,562 black first-year medical students. However, 13-year-old Alina Annalee Wicker is making history as the youngest black person to be accepted into medical school in the United States after being accepted by the University of Alabama at Birmingham's Hearsink School of Medicine. It's never too young to aim high, as Alina has demonstrated. It makes no difference what your age or plans are, she stated in a report by ABC Eyewitness News. Go for it, dream big, and then make it happen. Alina's biggest supporter was her mom. She always gave me opportunities over things and she believed in me, Alina mentioned. First I would say, don't let anybody tell you no, because there were a lot of people who told me no, or that I couldn't do what I dreamed to do. Elena said in response to a question about advice she would give other young people who wanted to dream big as well. I also had that network of support. They offered me encouragement to pursue my objectives and were there for me when I needed them. Elena responded, ignore those who tell them no, when asked what guidance she would give other young people who wish to dream big as well. She also takes pride in her discipline and time management abilities. First, I would say, don't let anybody tell you no, because there were a lot of people who told me no, or that I couldn't do what I dreamed to do, she said. I also had that support system. They were there when I needed them, and they gave me that support to say, don't give up on your dreams. Congratulations on your latest accomplishment, Elena. Thanks to Allen efforts, other mayors have declared April 30th to be Brown STEM Girl STEM in the City Day honoring women of color in STEM. The Texas governor has also issued a proclamation in support of the initiative. She represents the Kiki Palmer Foundation and Save Our Daughters. If you find this video interesting, kindly click the like and subscribe buttons. To get notifications every time we upload new videos, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Thank you for joining us on this inspiring adventure. See you in the next video.